do you have any tips that you generally tell people when they come to, you know, apply for a loan with you? You say, okay, here's a few steadfast yes. rules that we need to follow. Oh yeah, I, I tell them right up front. Um, pay cash for everything. If you're buying bubble gum, pay cash. If you're buying a soft drink, pay cash. You don't want to let anybody pull your credit. Uh, you don't want to go buy a car. I, I had one lady um, apply for a credit card at David's Bridal. She wasn't getting married for a year and a half later, but they convinced her to, to get a credit card, and she did, and it killed the whole deal. Um, really? So, yeah. So you don't want to apply for credit cards if you're trying to get a loan for a house. You don't want to go buy a car. You don't just everything. Just lay low. Pay cash for everything. Don't don't apply for any new credit if you plan on buying a house anytime soon. And when you say, you know, anytime soon, so if, so are we talking like 30 days out? Are we talking six months out? If you think you're going to buy a home in six or eight months, should you halt that activity now? Or? I, I would. Usually the inquiries stay on your credit report for about three months. Three to four months, they'll start falling off. So I've pulled somebody's credit before and they had, like I said, 18 to 20 inquiries and it, it's, and their scores are 580, 620. And they're like, last time I pulled my score, it was a 680 or 700, but they don't realize that people checking your, your, your credit drops your scores. So I would say if you're within six months of buying a house, don't make any large purchases, purchases or, um, apply for any credit cards or, um, just kind of pay cash for everything if you can.